Hey there, today we're gonna check out some choice examples of LG's 2017 4K TV lineup. We're gonna start with an entry level 4K TV, work our way up to a super UHD TV and explain what that means, and then finish it off with a stunning OLED. Let's take a look. This is LG's UJ6300 series, the gateway to LG's 4K TV lineup. As entry-level TVs go, this TV is toward the top of the pack with slightly above average performance. It's got adequate brightness to perform well in well-lit rooms, but will have a hard time battling direct sunlight. Brightness uniformity is a little above average, and color accuracy is pretty good right out of the box. HDR performance brings noticeably better, brighter picture quality, and it definitely helps with contrast, but in a dark room, the lack of local dim will cause blacks to look a little gray. You get three HDMI inputs and LG's WebOS system remains one of our favorites and you'll find it installed in all of LG's TVs discussed in this video. However, the UJ6300 does not come with LG's Magic Motion Remote. That means no voice search either. It's also worth noting that the input lag on this TV is pretty low, especially in game mode, which should play well with gamers playing first person shooters. Design is average. Just about everything on this TV is plastic, but that's part of why the set is so affordable. This is a totally acceptable TV for general use, and it's worth noting that since LG uses IPS panels, it has better off-angle viewing than most other LED LCD TVs. This is the UJ7700 series, and it's one step up from the UJ6300 we just checked out. This TV adds local dimming for the backlights and LG's Magic Motion Remote, which works like a Wii remote so you can point and click your way through the WebOS smart TV system. We appreciate the addition of the Magic Motion Remote, but the local dimming on this TV doesn't make as huge a difference in the picture quality as we'd hoped for. This is an edge-lit TV with not a ton of zones, so the dimming effect is a little too obvious in dark scenes. And it causes some splotches of gray in a dark room setting, but for general use, this TV does just fine. Its HDR performance is superior to the UJ6300, and overall, it does perform a bit better than the model below it. The design here is a more noticeable upgrade with a trimmer, metallic bezel, and and a narrower profile resulting in a sleeker look. For gamers, this is an excellent choice as it has extremely low input lag in game mode, about 11.5 milliseconds across the board. If you're looking for a sleeker design, punchier HDR performance, low input lag, and a wider viewing angle, the UJ7700 is a really solid choice that won't break the bank. We've now arrived at the Super UHD line, which represents LG's high-performance LCD LED TVs. Here, the design differences are obvious. We've got a much slimmer profile with a white backing on the TV and much trimmer bezels than we see in the standard 4K TV lineup. You also get four HDMI inputs here. The reason LG calls this a Super UHD TV is because it uses what they call nanocell technology, which attempts to increase brightness and expand the color gamut so you get a wider array of colors. We do see a more colorful display here, but the HDR brightness doesn't step up all that much from the prior models. Black levels are still a little gray in dark rooms, and the local dimming isn't as impressive as we'd hope for at this price level, but again, that's not going to have much of an impact when the lights are on. And the reason this TV looks so sleek is because of that edge lighting, so the tiny bit you lose in contrast you make up for with a pretty fancy looking TV. The motion resolution, lack of blur, and low input lag make this a great TV for sports and for gamers, especially if you're playing new HDR games. You spend a little bit more for the Super UHD TV, but I think it's money well spent considering the improvements to design and color. Now we move on to the OLED TV, LG's flagship technology. You see here the E7, but we also have the C7 series too. The reason we're looking at two OLEDs at the same time is because aside from some design and sound quality differences, both series produce the exact same picture quality because they use the same panel and have the same processing. And if you're wondering just how good that picture quality is, we're happy to report it offers the best picture we have ever seen before. Better than the finest plasma that were ever made and better than any LCD LED TV on the market today. If you're serious about getting the best picture, LG's OLEDs deliver. And of course, you can see they have impeccable design as well. The E7 here is a flashier TV with a picture on glass design and it has better sound quality thanks to these forward facing speakers in a soundbar like configuration. But the C7 is no slouch either and its pedestal allows placement on smaller entertainment stands. Outside of those differences though, everything about the picture quality is exactly the the same. So if you want to save a little money, the C7 is the better choice. No matter what LG OLED model you choose, you're going to be amazed with the picture quality, both for standard content and for 4K HDR content, which there is now plenty of to enjoy. 
That's it for our LG 2017 4K TV lineup. If you want to take a deeper dive into any one of these models, be sure to check out our full review videos.